Hello, this is my sixth sailboat restoration project. This one is a Lancer 28. It's a 1979 and I selected it because it has a triple axle trailer making it uh, a launchable sailboat from the trailer. So far I have installed bunks and removed two of the pads that were located in midship uh, and actually prevented the boat from being launched from the trailer. And now with the bunks it is launchable. I've got uh, to get a new winch for it and do a few other smaller things to make it uh, launchable at a ramp. As you can see by the blue tape there are lots of gouges on this project and I am actually going to start today sanding and filling in the gouges and making the surface nice and smooth and I plan to change the color scheme from uh, whatever it is brown orange color to a dark blue and white. One of the features of the Lancer 28 is a engine compartment as opposed to the engine just hanging off the transom of the boat. Uh, this one was pretty beat up on the inside and nasty looking so I have at least started anyway uh, using a bilge coat paint to clean the area up. There are also some wiring issues uh, as you can see uh, there were some add-ons that I plan to get rid of and I'll go back to the original uh, very basic uh, wiring system with lights and uh, mass lights etc. There was an eight horse Honda on this boat. Uh, the prop was missing and who knows if it was uh, fixable or not. I've also ordered a new Genoa, a 135, uh, which is being made by North Sales in Seattle. Plan to paint the mast. Uh, the mainsail, it was in great shape, so it looked relatively new. I won't have to do anything there. Uh, all the lines in the mast need to be replaced. The bottom paint was black before, and now it's blue. That'll be in line with uh, the new Beauty Stripes, which will be a very dark blue. The new Genoa Sail has a dark blue UV stripe as well. The mast and boom are in very good shape. Uh, this boat came with a furler as well, and it appears to be in good shape, although it'll need some cleaning up. As I stated, I plan to replace or repaint the mast um, and all the lines uh, have already been removed. Uh, I ran a real thin clothesline type of material through the mast wherever I remove the old halyards and that will be used to thread the new ones into place. All the wiring on the mast appears to be in good condition. I have hired an electrician uh, to come out here in mid-September to do a house call and go through all the electronics on the boat. Uh, that stuff's a little out of my league, so whatever needs to be fixed, uh, he'll tell me and we'll go about fixing it. 